Hey everyone, welcome back to City of Ghosts, Cyberpunk's DLC. Let's get a move on. Um, I'm assuming. Will you be able to wake up tomorrow and do all of this again? I don't understand. It's something that JK said to me. I can't get it out of my head. Why not? Can you not do Cloudpunk anymore? No, that's the thing. I can. Even after everything we saw on that first night, I've kept going. It all just goes on. It goes on like nothing happened. But maybe it shouldn't? Control said maybe there were less accidents. Things with the city are better. Maybe. I don't know. I just feel like I'm freewheeling, rolling downhill with no direction. But I know that something bad is up ahead, and I'm not sure I'll be able to swerve around it. You are good at swerving. I guess so, Camus. Maybe I just need to keep moving. Let's hit up Control, see if there are any new jobs waiting. Control, you got anything for me? Good timing. I need someone right now. We got a new start. Need you to show them the ropes. Sending a nav point now. Show them the ropes? I'm still learning them. No one else available. No time for arguing. This is gonna impact our ratings at the end of the night, so you gotta get it over with fast, okay? Right, so just show them how to pilot a Cloudpunk Kava? He knows how to drive, Rania. He's worked delivery before. Just show him how we do things. Recklessly. And for no money. Exactly. Now, I'll level with you. He's an old-timer. Name's Koga. Probably won't last more than a night. Just drive him around some routes, show him HQ, give him some advice. Tell him to keep his head down, to be smart, to remember this is just a job, and to keep clear of Corpsec. And tell him we don't ask what's in the package. Right, I can do that. Look, you've survived in Navalis long enough to know how to keep your head down. Help the old dude any way you can, but don't go overboard. We're short on time, so when you're done, let's get back to work. You on track to top the rankings tonight, Control? Not yet, but if we bust our asses, we just might make it. Control out. Here I am, stopping everywhere and picking everything up. Yeah, one of the frozen dudes. Not sure why I just keep. Yeah, force a habit. I'm gonna pick everything up. Heading back. Too far away. We got old town. Smash into everything, it'll be fine. Oh my gosh. Look. Just. Yeah. Can not repair everything. Fine. There's an item pick up here. Set guy here. High cash thing here. I don't remember what my code is. Here, even if I have one. Hello, right, ma'am. My name is Koga. Koga Bind. Pleased to meet you. So, you're showing me the ropes, huh? Yeah, hi. 
I have to warn you, I'm pretty new, so I'm not sure I'll be much of a guide. Introduce yourself, young lady. It's only manners. Right, yeah. I'm Rania. I'm from the Eastern Peninsula. Like I said, a pleasure. And I'm sure you'll be a great mentor. What makes you want to drive deliveries? Oh, wow. Another interview. I need to give a good answer, right? Just making conversation. You don't need to tell me anything. Well, my wife died a few years back, and I have nothing to do. I don't need the money, not really. All I spend my savings on is white cake and coffee. I'm pretty comfortable, but I need something to do in the evenings. Need something to do in the evenings. Yeah, I know a few people like that. Have a job for the sake of having a job. And that's what Cloudpunk is to you? Something to do in the evenings? Yes, ma'am. Fly around the city, see the nightlife, meet some new people. Seems worthwhile. Will we see Cloudpunk HQ soon? I hear it's a really pretty building. Yeah, I thought I'd show you our depot first. A lot of deliveries start there. Gosh, it's sitting everything today. It, it's funny, like, they do have... Even when I was playing the game before, you know, certain episodes where I managed to get through and not do any damage to the car, and then there's other ones where I just nail it into everything. So we're going through to Midtown. having a great day here. Come on, like, drive around things. Say, Cloudpunk's not exactly authorized like the big delivery call, right? Not legal? Semi-legal. And what does that mean exactly? I am no legal expert, Koga. From what I remember of my contract, Cloudpunk the company isn't illegal, but driving deliveries for them is. In Novalis, companies can't break the law unless they impede the business of another company, but individuals can. Drivers carry all the risk. If I get caught, I can get fined or exiled, but Cloudpunk can still sit here with a big old sign outside their HQ. Hardly seems fair. In practice, Cloudpunk will bail you out if you get pinched. They'll cover the bribes, but they'll take it out of your pay packet. Why well, work for them then? You tell me. You just signed up. I guess some drivers like the freedom. Cloudpunk is weak on contracts, and they'll let you just quit or take the night off or go on a holiday. Though I hear the contracts the big delivery corps sign you up for aren't as bad as folk make out. Are you kidding? Arizona driver once failed to make a delivery and they executed his cat. That's an exaggeration. And it was his dog. Where are we going? I thought I'd take you a typical route. HQ to Achuba is pretty popular. I'm not sure what else I'm supposed to do to help you. You're doing it, ma'am. I'm enjoying our chat. I could tell you what to watch out for. Corpsec, some of the gangers in Diver Row, the crime bosses that hang out around the Sinwave Club. Please, ma'am, I've lived in this district long enough to know who to avoid. And as for Corpsec, I have a cousin that's an officer. I can always wiggle out of trouble. Lucky you. You gotta make the right friends in Nivalis if you're gonna make it. You must know that. Sure, but that's not a friend you made. That's a family member you were born with. I'm just trying to give you some free advice, ma'am. I'm supposed to be the one advising you. I didn't mean nothing by it. I... I've just never done this before. They really should have picked someone else to help you out. I'm not sure I'm gonna last long with Cloudpunk, to be honest. How come? Rough start, I guess. I've seen a lot of people in a lot of pain. I'm worried I'll get used to it. In Novalis, you'll have to. Whether you work for Cloudpunk or someone else. I know these areas. Show me something tougher. I could take you to the stacks. It's a messy journey. I like messy. 
Let's do it. You live alone now, Koga? Yeah, since Quinny died, it's been just me and my dog. I have a dog, too. Say hi, Camus. Hi, Camus. That was just a joke, by the way, sir. I am a dog, but I also do jokes. It was a good one, Camus. I meet a lot of new people. Try to keep putting myself out there. You have to keep pushing yourself, you know? Good for you. You got many friends in Cloud Punk yet? I had one, but he moved on. Like I said, I'm just in the door. How's your handler? Control seems... Yeah, she seems okay. You don't sound sure. I had a different handler the first night. Retired, I went on to the standard job allocation algorithm. Ben was really good, but I'm sure your handler will be good too. Why are you sure? I'm not. It's just a nice thing to say. I like old control better, but new control is good too. I was wondering, Koga, earlier you talked about Kurzona and how they killed a driver's dog for breaking a contract. Why? I'm sure he got a warning first. I don't like when dogs get hurt as punishment. It is not right. And I think I have figured something out. You have, Camus? Yes. You work for Kurzona. Camus, no. He wants to work for Cloudpunk. Right? Your dog is very clever. Yes, I am very clever. I am glad someone has finally realized that. Very astute. Yes. I'm a Kazona recruiter. Get the hell out of my hava. Just take me to the stacks like you suggested. I can explain myself on the way. I don't want to hear it. And yet you will, because if you don't listen to me, I'll buy out your contract and offer you nothing in its place. I don't want to work for Kazona. You do, Rania. You just don't realize it. You're a good driver. Smart. Quick. Sure, maybe you're not up to his own standards yet, but you have potential. We're interested. I'm interested. I'm happy at Cloudpunk. Are you? It sure doesn't sound like it. I don't think you're understanding what's happening here. I understand. You force people to work for them, and it's not good. Rania, this is good news. You've passed the test. I would prefer to have failed. Too bad. You're gonna be reborn in Kurzona. Reborn into a better life. A big apartment in Midtown. Safety and security for the rest of your life. For you, Camus, and Pasta. You've done your homework. That's my job, ma'am. After you drop me off, I'm gonna look into your history a little bit more closely. If everything clears and there's no dark secrets, well, I look forward to working with you. We're at the end of this conversation. Before I go, I just want to say, you're Kurzona material, Rania, whether you know it or not. I know you don't like how we did this, but I have to lie to get to this stage, to meet you. Now, why don't you just go home? You just have to take one more step and your life will get a whole lot easier for you and everyone you care about. Goodbye. You? This is bad. This is really bad. Jen, get me control on the comm. We need to have a serious talk. I'm calling control. Control, we have to talk. Cut the chat, Rania. That last job burned up too much of our talking time. Make time. So the new guy, Koga, remember him? Friendly old dude looking for something to fill his evenings? He's a fucking Kurzona recruiter. Damn. Damn? That's it? What else do you want me to say? How about, don't worry, Rania. Cloudpunk will look out for you. Kurzona won't get you. Well, I'd love to say that, but you know I can. I mean, I'll check with the diamonds upstairs, but my guess, if Kurzona wants you, well, there ain't no one in Cloudpunk management with the clout to stop them. What am I supposed to do? Just do a good job tonight, and maybe nothing will come of it. Kurzona scouts a lot of drivers. Did Koga meet with any other Cloudpunk drivers? Uh, no. 
He asked for me specifically, didn't he? Yeah, but he could be visiting other small delivery companies too. No reason to think you're the only driver on his radar. I'm not reassured, Control. There has to be some way I can get out of this. What if I do a really bad job tonight? Oh no, you don't. We need you on your A-game for this shift. And that won't work anyway. He's already interested in you. If you slack off tonight, all you'll do is piss me. Guess we're getting headhunted, eh? Cloudpunk off. Listen, Rania. Just let me see what I can do. Maybe I can put in a bad word for you or something. Put them off. Any chance Cloudpunk could pay Kurzona off? <laughs> Good one. Oh, wait, you were serious? Never mind. I'll sort this out myself. Ronnie, I'll, I'll really try to help, okay? I hate making promises. I hate saying I can do something when I can't, so I can't promise anything, but I'll try. Fine. Well, back to work, I guess. Why don't you just go home? Come again, Control? I said head to the cauldron. should be waiting in a mailbox. We have an HWC on this one. A what now? Handle with care. It's some sort of chemical, volatile. Great. I love transporting explosive chemicals. That's the spirit. Look, I know this client. Harmless old man called Habis. I don't think you're carrying anything explosive. But just to be safe, try not to hit too many other Havas. But that's always good advice anyway, right? Oops. Pick up the uh, it's here, but I'll pick up the thing around here first. <coughs> Let's get this. Ah, this package stinks. We should get extra money for stinky packages. Can you smell it too? Yes, my frame is fitted with olfactory sensors. What is it? I don't know. That is strange. I know most smells. I know cinnamon. I know sulfur. I know pine wood. I know cat. I know aloe vera. Please keep listing smells forever. I know mango. I know sandalwood. I know methane. I know ethane. I know ethanol. I know methanol. I know propanol. I know I think I am being annoying. Good self reflection, Camus. You think this package smells explosive? I don't know, but I like it. Jen, do you read? Please make sure the air filters are running in the Hava. Turn the fans to maximum. Habis. I feel like I know that name. There might be more information on the Undernet. You know what? Let's not search for names on the Undernet again. Curiosity really got us into... Hazardous substance detected. Hazardous substance detected. What the hell? Driver performance inhibited. You may have inhaled a stimulant which requires a CorpSec level 7 substance permit for recreational use. Recreational use? I've been poisoned. Negative. You are experiencing a smooth, mellow high, shortly to be followed by a gentle, soporific comedown. For your peace of mind, this experience can be legalized by contacting your local CorpSec substance licensing representative. Quiet. Control, come in. I'm in trouble. Rania, what's wrong? I've been drugged. This package, the fumes. Damn it. Dump the package. Are you sure? Dump it. I'll carry the can. I'm not having my drivers poisoned. Not tonight. Open the door, Jen. Contextual warning. This package has a tracking beacon installed. Corpsec will locate the package with a 70% probability. As the last registered owner, this package will be traced to your home address. Uh, fine. I'll deliver the package. Ronnie, come again? It sounds like you said you'd deliver the package. This is very dangerous. We should drop it. You are being risky again. No, I can do this. Quiet, everyone. I just need to focus. 
It's not that bad. I'm making this delivery. It definitely looks like it's, uh, she's under the influence of something. They're all things all blurry and... are wide as sauces, Missy. You okay? I've been drugged by your package. Oh, hey, hey. That's no problem. I can sort that out. Here, take this. No way. I'm not taking anything else. It's granulara. It will block the acetylcholine receptors in your brain and get you back to base. No more drugs. This is an undrug. You'll feel better. You gotta trust me, Missy. I am an alterer of consciousness, a magician of the human mind, a dream architect. Control, control, come in. You said to trust this guy, Habis. He wants me to take something, and he sounds crazy. Old Habis is harmless, Rania. And he knows more about mind-altering substances than I know about booze and gambling. Go ahead. It is very fast. Fine, give me the thing. Ugh. Ugh. That was fast. A concoction of my own making. And I am sorry about drugging you. Although people usually pay me for the experience. <laughs> I don't use, and if I did, I would want to have a choice. Of course. Of course. What the hell was in that package? Well, that depends on the quality blurry. of your driving. If you were careful, the package contains 72 intact glass vials of Violet Pilot. Which is? A blend of retro stimulants like opiates and hallucinogens, laced with high yield dose regulating nanites. Safe, customizable, and satisfying. I'm very proud of this one. It felt like my head was in a blender. Yes, quite. Will I be okay, long term? You'll be fine. Better than fine, in fact. You'll probably find your mood has improved significantly. Though you may start craving lime juice, I still don't know why that happens. Why was the package leaking? Some of the vials must have cracked. In an undiluted form, the concoction is potent. If you've been careful, we should have an almost intact batch. If your driving was reckless, we may have little more than a mess left. You're a drug dealer? That's your business? Please, I hate that word. Drug dealer? No, business. My stimulants are not business. Like I said, I am a dream architect. Don't you ever worry about the people who use your drugs? Or getting caught? My drugs are safer than almost any other mind-altering substance you can put into your body. But they're still drugs. You are an odd girl. Humanity has been using substances to alter their consciousness for as long as there has been consciousness. Longer, even. Whether we're creating nanite-focused symbiote stimulants in a city in the clouds, or licking slimy amphibians in the primordial swamps, the goal is the same. Mankind has a long history of pursuing the feeling that their head has been put in a blender. So you're not worried about the people who use your drugs, or being caught? The people who use my drugs, as you call them, are my children. I open up portals to another world for them, but always with a tether to pull them back to reality. My stimulants are the fastest and purest in all of Nivalis. I care about my users more than anyone. And as for getting in trouble, well, I have an agreement with Corpsec. It's a standard agreement. I pay a responsibility redirection fee. A what? As long as I pay the fee, Responsibility for the illegality of the stimulant sold is 
Redirect it to the user. So you can't be arrested, but the user can? Of course. It is only fair I pay the fee. And if CorpSec asks you who the users are? I tell them they are criminals after all. Why are you looking at me like that? Check your vials. I need to get the hell out of here. This looks... Hey, this isn't so bad. You're a good driver. Maybe you should drive on Violet Pilot more often. Yeah, I don't think so, Havis. I'll give you some anyway. It's the least I can do. Take it. The first dose is free? That's good business. I told you, I hate that word. And yet, it suits you so well. Alright. Rania, you there? I'm here, Control. What do you need? Are you slacking off? No, we were just talking a minute ago, remember? Right, well we need you to pick up a client's order from Hobbs Thoroughfare, but we keep losing their signal for the nav point. Oh, that sucks. I could just go there and see if you can pick up the signal through my Hava. Won't work, your signal booster isn't operational. Or I could try asking my automata to scan for a network ID. No, won't work. Why not? Control, are you still there? So what do I do? We're a bit busy here, Rania. I'll head to Hobbs Thoroughfare, so I'm close by if you clear up the signal. Sound good? Waste of fuel. Is there a problem, Control? Fine, I'll work on clearing up the signal. Okay, good luck. Uh, Control? She is gone. Oof, she's a real ray of sunshine breaking through the clouds tonight. Do you remember old Control? Too Shh. well, Camus. Let's go. the buildings. Should we tell Control we are here? I guess. Jen, send our location to Control in case she needs us. What do you want, Rania? I got to Hobbs. Thought maybe I could go ask around to find the package. Breach of confidentiality. I could just look around. You'd never find anything. Control, if you were me, what would you do? I wouldn't waste time walking around. We are already way behind on our deliveries. You know, in my culture, we have this custom where if someone comes up with a suggestion to help you solve a problem, the first thing you should say should be something positive. What do you mean? We say ideas are like bubbles. They're fragile. If the first thing you say is negative, you pop them. Poof. Gone. Yeah? Well, we have a saying where I'm from. As useful as a chocolate coffee cup. Hey, I'm trying to help you. Help me with ideas that aren't shit. You were much happier at the start of the shift. Yeah, well, I was still drunk then. Wait, really? <laughs> if you meet a controller on this job who tells you they can get through the day without booze or drugs or smokes or caffeine injections or juice, they're lying. Hey, control, I've got a pickup address. Looks like we found it. Yep, the client pinged us again. Go ahead and pick up the job. Client is called Ava Jate. You'll get more instructions at the destination, apparently. Control out. But where I should go first here because of the packages around.
Right. Let's see this person. We have an incoming message from Miss Ava Jade. Hello, driver. I've been waiting for a while now. Sorry about that. We had trouble dialing in your signal. I'm Rania, and I'm supposed to pick something up from you? Oh, I think it's my fault. I'm all thumbs on this new comm. It's an Emerald Pro. Really? Those are brand new. Best comm on the planet, so the ads say. They tell me I can call the moon with this. But, dummy that I am, I still can't figure out how to turn it on or off. You don't need to turn it off. It's powered by the same induction loop that keeps the Havas in the air. It's always on. A bit like me. Also, my husband says. Anyway, I've got a few errands for you to run, Rania. Sending you the first nav point now. Errands? I thought I was picking up a package. Well, these are packages. Kinda. Or my shopping. <laughs> it's cool, right? More fun than delivering some dusty old box. We're pals now, or we will be soon. You see, you're gonna have to put up with my chat for a while. I'm pretty particular about what I need when I go shopping. But don't worry, I'll talk you through everything. Oh, you have to be careful in Navalis, or you end up with fake gear and knockoffs. You get it, right? Sure, you're the boss. Oh, Rania, not at all. We're doing this together. No bosses, just some girls going shopping. It's going to be spectacular. Right. You're doing great, Rania. You'll see a retail bot waiting outside Danae's jewelers. Choose something nice for me, okay? Something sexy, but classic. Something that screams, yes, I am confident enough to wear this. But nothing too tacky, okay? Uh, I have no idea about fashion. Especially not this type of fashion. Neo Rococo. Yeah, rich people stuff. Can't you just tell me exactly what to get? <laughs> Where's the fun in that? And you can't buy something from these boutiques without seeing them in person. But it's not in person. You sent me a driver who is wearing a Hava flight suit 90% of the time. And I trust your eye. Just remember, chic, sexy. A little cheeky, but not tacky. We'll chat again at the next store. Hmm. Yeah, look. A fine piece, madame. An all-time classic. Really? Is this what you would have picked? Certainly. It's the clear choice. Hmm. Thanks. What in Cora's name did you choose? No, wait, don't tell me. No, tell me! No, don't. <laughs> Seriously, don't. I want a surprise. I know you picked something just perfect, Rania. Right. What is the outfit for, if you don't mind me asking? Date night at Crema. You've heard of it, of course. No, Midtown? The low lights. That's practically the spire. Waiting lists are full this month, but my husband got us in. Wow. So what's next on the shopping list? The dress. The trickiest choice of all. I know even less about dresses than I do about jewelry. Gosh. That's the exciting part for us. I can't wait to tell the girls at the Friday Night Fight Club that I let a delivery driver choose my ensemble. <laughs> It'll blow their minds. Right, well, looking at the time, um, this is going to have to be where we wrap up. I'm going to head towards that spot and um, we'll pick this up in the next episode. So, thanks everyone for watching. Comments below, and I'll we'll see you then. Bye now.